Hello everyone, this is Noah, and today I'd like to talk a little bit about braking. Uh, and I'm going to use boards for that today, unlike the, uh, the cinder block caps and coconuts that I've been doing a lot of lately. Uh, braking isn't something that everybody does, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, we actually don't require it at my dojo, it's not part of testing or anything like that. Uh, but it's something that's, uh, it's fun and it's interesting to do because you can actually sort of get a feel for how powerful your strikes are. Uh, each of these boards, which uh, are just simple pine boards from Home Depot, there's nothing special about them, they haven't been baked or cut, anything like that, they are a 12-inch uh, wide pine board, a 12 by 1, uh, which has been cut down to 10 inches long, so they're rectangular, they're not quite square. Uh, that board just one of them takes about 115 pounds to break. Uh, when you stack them flat together, when you're doing more than one, they flex together and support each other, so that's actually not uh, a simple matter of two boards being 115 pounds a piece, it takes 230 pounds to break. It's actually a little more than that because they support each other, uh, so it gets uh, sort of exponentially more difficult the more you stack uh, when you're stacking them flat like this. It's a little different when you stack them with spacers because they aren't uh, grouped together and they aren't one solid mass thing. Uh, but something that has come up before is when people don't do braking uh, and they've never been shown how to do braking, they're not sure exactly what they need to do uh, to get started with it. Now, for simple board braking, uh, pretty much any martial artist can break one board without much difficulty, and actually untrained people can break one board without much difficulty as well, if you give them a little bit of help. So, when you're using stands like this, which are just cinder blocks, what you want to make sure you do is set them far enough apart that the boards just barely touch the edges of the blocks. Because the further in the blocks are, the more supported the boards are going to be and they're actually going to be harder to break. Additionally, having the blocks closer together means that you run the risk of running your hand into one a little bit more than when they're farther apart. Now, when you're doing one board, that's pretty much your main consistent problem is avoid hitting the cinder board. Now, to set up your boards for breaking, once you've got the blocks spaced far enough apart that the board is just sitting on the edges, you'll want to tap the corners of the board. And if you listen and feel for it, you'll notice that it won't be quite perfectly flat. Uh, it will actually rock a little bit. So when I tap, I notice that this corner is a little bit raised compared to the others. So. When you're testing this, before you hit it, that is going to tell you kind of where you need to hit on the board. You want to hit toward whichever corner is the loose one. So right now I know I need to hit towards the front right corner of the board because it's the furthest one that I need to move. Now, when we're adding a second board, you will notice that boards are just slightly curved naturally. That's something that happens. And if I stack them so that their curves go away from each other, you'll see that there's that big gap in between. Now that's going to make it much more difficult to break because you have to bend one board much farther than you otherwise would. So you want to make sure you stack them so that they are actually flat, so that the curve of the boards matches. Now once you have both boards, it may change how the balance of the stack uh, is distributed, so you'll want to tap the corners again and see if it's changed. Now it's changed a little bit, but I still want to hit towards that corner. So I'm going to go ahead and break this, and you'll kind of see how that works out. It's not going to be perfectly centered, it's going to be a little bit off to the side. 